that's what you guys wanted. Another day of, hold on, this is supposed to be one of the greatest days in two weeks. Help me out here, guys. What is today supposed to be that you look forward to if you're working? Payday. Payday. I, I got my check and I laughed at it. Anyone ever get scared to check their bank account? Do you get scared to check and see what the hell your check is going to be? For the past four plus months, ever since we've had new management at this gay ass, whack ass job, I'm only working to pay rent and bills. So fuck all you haters out there. Suck a dick. You're going to watch this video anyway. So ever since we've had new management, my checks have been about $140 shorter. Why? Why is it that out of three managers, right? Three different managers that have been there. As soon as this particular manager gets here, all of a sudden, everybody's checks are low. It must mean that you're doing something fucked up and wrong. So it's a Friday. Who gives a fuck? I don't club, don't drink, don't give a goddamn. I don't deserve to club and drink. Uh, I didn't make any good revenue to be doing shit like that and blow frivolous income. This is payday. And it just feels like judgment day. As soon as I get paid, my ends go directly to someone else. Directly to someone else to rob me of whatever the fuck I've been working for for two weeks. That's why I don't give a fuck about having a smile or anything when I'm at this job. I'm a fucking drone when I'm there. These people act like we're supposed to be busting our asses and doing all this crazy shit. We're the ants. We're the ants of the company. We're supposed to be doing this crazy shit and just going off, off and beyond. Guys, I need you guys to be doing this. I need you to be doing this. These numbers got to be up. What about my motherfucking numbers? What about the numbers that I slaved for? The numbers that are supposed to be in my bank account to where I can do something and have a little bit of fun or do something for my fucking self. And I haven't been able to do it. Man, if it wasn't for you guys, I'm telling you, if it wasn't for my supporters, man, I wouldn't be able to do a fucking thing but pay rent and pay my fucking car note. Hands down, period. These fucking jobs, they don't give a fuck about, and yeah, excuse my profanity. I'm going to cuss as much as I want how you let off aggression these jobs don't give a fuck man this is why i don't like this flow chart lifestyle most of these jobs are designed to just have you literally rot away your time literally rot away your entire time in life my best friend his dad walked to he walked well, he walked out with with 80 000 and 401k i don't know if he was pulling shit out or what but out of 30 some years he walked out with about 80k period it just shows you that going out there doing extensive things is the better way of life period you got to take risks to get real money i'm probably spitting i don't give a shit this is gritty and grime you got to go out there and outsource to get real bread i'm not fucking around no more period you got knuckle dude right dude is like 22 20 i don't know made 200 and thirty thousand dollars fuck the taxes it doesn't matter he made two hundred and thirty thousand for competing in video games which one would you rather do go out there pursue some dreams and hit it big or be a fucking drone walking around waiting till you're 50 fucking something years old waiting for your 401 fucking k <laughs> which one would you rather do i don't know me I would rather go out there and really outsource and grind and, and try to get some real bread because you're going to be stuck in this web of uh, paying people for the rest of your goddamn life if you don't do it. Look, it's payday and I'm not even excited at all, period. And I know there's some people out there that, well, you should find a better job. Fuck that. Find a better job to suck up even more of my time. Listen, what I'm going to do is use, like I said before, I'm going to use this time. I'm gonna use this time, this extra time I got off and really get out there and make something happen. I'm sick of this fucking lifestyle. I'm sick of getting fucked over by bitch ass companies that don't wanna know your worth. We got a guy, cool guy I work with. It's not about him, we got a guy, right? I've been at this gay ass job, you know, for unextensive amounts of time. And 
these motherfuckers, this dude's been here for about a month. After a month, they promoted him. Didn't ask anybody else that they want the position. I would have refused anyway, because fuck this job. I'm only here to pay bills. I would have refused anyway, but they didn't ask anyone else at all. Are you interested in this position? You just bypass somebody with two fucking degrees and just say, fuck you, we're just gonna make this other guy that hasn't been here long. We're just not even gonna ask the other guy what's going on. Wish these motherfuckers would go so I could turn. I'm telling you, man, if you live, if you live this flow chart ass lifestyle, it's designed for you to fail. It's designed for you to ride away your entire fucking life working for another man's company, unless you go out there and do something where you can own your own shit. Back to what I was saying. I had to run into Walmart, grab me my cocaine in a bottle, or a can, and uh, grab Dexter some cat food. When you think about life, when you, when you people think about life, what do you think, what does life mean for you? When you think about the shit in barriers, just think of like Dante's Inferno real quick, right? All those barriers to things, all those levels to things. That's what life is. There's, there's, there's levels to this shit. Just like it said in the song a long time ago. I'm not gonna say who was by, but you guys probably already know. There's levels to life. There's cars I will never be able to drive, houses I'll never be able to live in, places I will never be able to go unless revenue is accumulated, period, hands down or unless somebody does me a fucking favor. How in the fuck else am I gonna get there just stuck in some gay ass job working it every goddamn day? Fucking work, what? If you're part-time, work five, six hours. If you're lucky, seven, get off, go to sleep, do it all over again for 30 years? That's what you motherfuckers want? You people out there with, you, with your real jobs and shit like that, you probably think you're happy, but you're not. And if you are, you're fooling yourself because you're just limited. Who wants to live in a box? That's living in a box. Going to work five fucking days a week. Coming home, going to sleep, resetting, doing it all over again. You get your two days off on the weekend. No, I don't want that shit. I want to be able to take the days off I feel like it and run my own shit. That's what life is about. Is making it as, as graceful as possible. And working for whack-ass jobs will never get you there. Period. I don't give a fuck how much PTO and all that shit you got. You're still owned. Period. You're still limited. Period. Unless, you get, unless you're a doctor with your own practice or a dentist or something like that, it's still yours. You get what I'm saying? It's still yours. But unless you're doing something extensive to the point where it's practically yours, your ass is stuck. I don't give a fuck how much money you make. Fucking crack this Red Bull, but I'm not even supposed to be drinking these, but man, I feel like I need something to settle me. Instead of alcohol and drugs, which I will never do, I just go ahead and get a Red Bull, man. I'm not even supposed to be drinking these due to, you know, my kidneys not being too great. But one ain't gonna kill me every once in a while. I need it. I'm gonna fucking drink it. And I just spilled the shit all in my fucking seat. That's letting me know right there I shouldn't have fucking had the Red Bull. Wow. What a waste of liquid crack. You guys said, bring back the critical times, LTG. Here's the fucking critical times. What do you want? You want a vlog full of me doing crazy things and having a crazy life, skydiving and, you know, with going on roller coasters. <laughs> this is what you guys want? It doesn't exist. I'm not bringing a camera to Magic Mountain to go on a roller coaster in the first motherfucking place. I'm going to drink this Red Bull and rant. And I'm gonna continuously. A lot of you dumb fucks out there will call this complaining. Yeah, you're a lot better off than you're a lot better off than other people. Oh, bro, come on, it can't be that bad. It's not about it being bad. It's called being unsatisfied. As humans, we're unsatisfied anyway. That's why we got a company like NASA that keeps trying to figure out ways to get off the goddamn Earth. Because we're unsatisfied as a species, so technically... Technically, it's in my goddamn DNA to be unsatisfied as a human. I know that there's something inside of me that's letting me know, wait a minute. 
your brain's limited. Uh, we want other things, but we can't get it. We want to, we want to teleport. We can't do it. We want to, we want to move things with telekinesis, but we can't do it. I'm one of the humans that realize that I'm living in a limited shell, a limited bubble, simply because that's what the creator wanted. Guys, if you don't like. What it is I do, don't fucking watch it. I'll put out an inspirational video, wrote basically Bible verses, and people still had something to say. Still. All of you people that was talking shit on that video, none of you dumb, low IQ, retarded ass motherfuckers could have ever, ever fathomed to write something so glorious and gracious to people that you appreciate. None of you dumb fucks will be able to do it. You don't possess the IQ to write something like that, period. So what'd you do? You did something simple. You went on my video and ridiculed it. Something that I that I worked hard for to give people, to give back. You know, I see a lot of YouTubers out there. You don't give a fuck about your subscribers like that. You just put out shit, praying people watch it and comment and make you popular. You didn't ever take the time to sit there and, and write something like that for your people. What you're doing is you're looking for ad revenue checks. That's it. Like the Tyrone Magnus guy. I seen this big headed gorilla looking motherfucker said, I, I found out about this guy when he reviewed the whole fucking goddamn grudge match video shit. This dude has basically, I don't know if he has a million. Yeah, I think he has a million subscribers sitting there reacting to other people's videos. That's the type of people you guys want to be subscribed to. Some giant, oaf-headed, disgusting, blubbery-looking, baboon-looking fuck that doesn't give a fuck about his subs. He sits there and just... Ha-ha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. That's what you guys want. This is the critical times. You motherfuckers asked for it. Whenever I feel like delivering it, I will. That's what the fuck I'm gonna do. Whenever I feel like giving you guys a vlog or critical times or whatever, I'm gonna do it. This is no schedule. You're here because you wanna be, right? You motherfuckers wanna be entertained, right? This is what you want. You want meltdowns, you want rage. <laughs> this is what you need, this is what you want. You wanna turn into your own videos. This is what you fuckers wanna do. You wanna, <clears throat> you wanna, oh, let me see what Low Tier God has on his channel. <laughs> You want to go on there, go on my channel, take bits and pieces off, turn it, take it, steal it, twist it, rob it, flicker it, do whatever the fuck you got to do. Put it in a pot, boil it, crispy it, burn it, whatever. Pull it out, put your own twist on my shit, my creativity, my brain, my soul, my IQ, and turn it into your video and make money off of it. Countless videos online robbing me of, robbing me of, of IQ because you're too dumb. You motherfuckers are too stupid and dumb to come up with something that, that could generate, ooh, that was the Red Bull, that can generate views to your channel. You need me. You motherfuckers need me to float your bullshit ass channels. Every video I see of me, 100K, 200K, you know, 80K, blah, blah, blah. Would it exist without me? So you guys can leave all those stupid ass comments all you want, which makes me laugh. You guys are sitting there complaining. You guys are sitting there complaining and talking shit about a video that's based off of me. You're there, you're watching me. That's what you're doing. So, I'm gonna end this, this fucking vlog because I feel like it. This dumbass person just sitting here in a turning lane. I'm gonna end this vlog because I fucking feel like it. And you can count how many times I said fuck because I don't give a fuck. I'm gonna sit here. You know what, I'm, I'm not in this vlog yet. I got something to say to you motherfuckers. Hold on, let me come out of here for getting these money orders to pay this this, this other person's rent. You know, give up my money for the, for the rent. Now I know when I post this video, there's gonna be a lot of people talking shit as usual, disliking the videos doesn't matter you still watched it you still you're gonna want to hear what i gotta say so it doesn't even fucking matter if you dislike it or not so ten thousand subscribers right let's talk about the t-shirts real quick 
10,000 subscribers, right? I should be able to have a successful campaign. I'm gonna erase all of my Teespring campaigns and put up one t-shirt. If I really have supporters, fans, blah, 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 whatever the fuck you guys like to call yourselves, I should be able to sell 50. If I don't sell 50, it means that people are just sub to sub, and then I'll finally get the fucking clue. It would, it would make perfect sense to me. I'm going to erase every last Teespring campaign that I have. I'm going to put up false validation T. That's it. Let's see how many sales. How many fans and supporters do I really fucking have? Are you guys just subbing for fun? 10,000 people. And guys, follow the new Twitter. The new Twitter will be in the... And guys, follow... And guys, follow the new Twitter. The new Twitter will be in the description. It will be in the description under the video. 4,000 Twitter followers gone. I'm not even gonna make a video about that shit. I was, if I really wanted the views, I could have made a video about that. Got like 10,000 plus, but it's not that big of a deal for me. So, just follow the new Twitter. If you tweet me with bullshit, I'm gonna block your dumbass. And I got videos coming. For these hating blacks out here, man. I got videos coming for you guys. You blacks that are sitting here making these videos about me better when you don't know me. You don't know a fucking thing about me. You're just ugly as shit. Talking shit. Upset. Because you're ugly. I got a video for you motherfuckers. Stay tuned.